what's poppin pumpkins it is me it is shiva it is viva it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it one time for the one time yes indeed to let you know what are your self inner guided messages that you want to tell yourself right now yes again we are finding out what your um innermost self uh, inner guidance is that you want to tell yourself. I have no idea what sign we're getting into today. We're going to use the tarot dice and do a quick shake, shake, and shake. And we're going to see who we're reading for today. So let's see who we're getting into today, you guys. Who is this? This is mm, Capricorn. I think I already did Capricorn. I did Capricorn already. Let's see. Who is this? This is Sagittarius. And I already said downstairs that I was going to do Sagittarius in my head. But I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and, um, you know, do the do, do the dice. And we won't, you know. But we ended up doing Sagittarius anyway. So Sagittarius, what's up, poo? It's all about you. So Sagittarius, I want to say what's up. We want to get your innermost guidance with guided messages you would like to tell to yourself right now and um i just want to uh, give a shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to all my babies for like sharing subscribing and clicking this video and support me we're gonna give a quick shout out to god real quick before we get into this message father god we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of sagittarius we thank you so much for uplifting us and bringing joy into our life please give the sign of sagittarius the guidance that they need to give to their self with their inner self their inner spirit needs to tell them at this moment in time in their life um in jesus name we thank you for um protecting us molding us and holding us in jesus name amen amen and amen all right let's get into this all right sagittarius why are you so mysterious baby let's get into it saggy let's see what we got going on for my sagittarius what is the inner guidance that you'd like to tell yourself what does your inner self want to speak to you about today what is your inner self want to say to sagittarius at this moment what does sagittarius inner self want to tell what does your inner self want to tell you at this moment? What is Sagittarius is teaching and learning. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we got relationship harmony. All right. Okay. All right. Teaching and learning things about relationships. Bringing more harmony, more peace, more joy, more relaxation, more harmony and tranquility into your relationships. All right. Let's get into this. Let's see what else we got going on. What else does Sagittarius want to tell yourself? What does Sagi want to tell their self? What is the inner guidance that the sign of Sagittarius would like to tell their self right now? Okay. We got the Eight of Torches. I know that's right. Come on, Eight of Torches. And we got the Six of Cups in it. Come on now. Tell yourself to let any type of old past trauma, any old energies go, okay? You letting all of that stuff go because things is popping off all the way in your direction, okay? All the way into <laughs> everything is happening in your direction right now. Everything that you've been wishing for, it seems like you've been um, hitting all your targets, all of your goals. Um, things are starting to pick up right now. So whatever type of past energies and especially any type of blockages that was getting in the way of any type of confirmation, any type of uh, relationship, harmony and peace and you being able to find true connections, especially in, in relationships. It doesn't matter just physical relationships. It could be in um, business relationships, your family relationships with people. I, I think things are turning around now. Things are starting to pick up. You're starting to, you know catch flow of the momentum you know so um i don't know you know i feel like you might work in a fast-paced environment too so i feel like you might be picking up more skills and like doing away with like old attitudes or old behaviors and old ways that you might have picked up from other people you know you're learning more uh productive work habits and things like that mm -hmm. so i feel like you are 
teaching and learning from old things that you went through. You know what I'm saying? You are uh, molding yourself into a new person right now. And you may be teaching people on the way as well. Especially about releasing um, any type of uh, family baggage. Because I, I, I'm getting like family trauma. It could be things with your parents. It, it's like carrying over into other situations that you are learning to release. And as you're learning to release these things and um, finding more peace with these family members or friends. And, and even just saying, you know what? I don't have to have no attitude with you. I could just leave you where you at. I don't even have to try to repair it. I, I don't, I'm not going to glorify who you are or the status you are in my life. Like, if you love me, you will show it. If you don't, like, I'm, I'm cool on that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm not trying. I'm not, you know, trying to put myself in a place that I don't need to be with people that, you know, don't appreciate me because, you know, love is giving and receiving. So you're learning to like stop putting yourself around people and places where it's not a giving and receiving energy. You know what I'm saying? So God bless you for that. So let's see teaching and learning. Teaching and learning says keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. All right. So, mm, you guys might be traveling to um, study. You guys might be traveling abroad to study and learn something. Some type of new skill, technology, technique or something like that. And coming back and teaching your students. You, I can even see you taking your students on a field trip. Because I, I, I heard, let's go somewhere, let's do something. Like, that's the best way to enrich yourself, to immerse yourself in the experience. So, you see, like, how you're, like, diving in. You're diving in. I feel like right now you're being, like, a thrill seeker. <laughs> okay? In relationships, it says, we angels are opening up the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of family stuff. Just let God repair it. And again, just find peace in things. Being the way that it is. Some people, you got to be okay with just accepting people how they are. Some people just not going to change. You just got to uh, elevate your mind so that you just don't react and respond to things that you, you know what I'm saying? And, and just send them with love. Just send them with love. <laughs> Basically. It's too many blessings. It's too many things going in your favor right now to worry about anything that wants to stay in disharmony. If it wants to stay in disharmony, let it stay over there. That's fine. I'll deal with you whenever I need to deal with you. And if I do choose to deal with you, I know exactly how to deal with you. So you don't take me off my square. Like, no. Okay. What is this? You got entrepreneur. So we were definitely talking about someone traveling to study. All right. Going to like a convention, a networking event, taking a few classes. Come on now. Entrepreneur. One more. For some daily guidance. And then you got focus on service again. Okay, so this is big, big, big about like self-advancements in regards to your career and your business. Okay, so focus on service. Focus on advancing your technology, your techniques. Um, continue to learn personal things in your life. As you learn and you grow on your own, it's more that you can bring to the table in regards to the people that you're trying to educate. To the people that you, I mean, because you you are molding people for the future, you know. So, I feel like these these kids or these these students or these people in your program, like, I don't I don't see that you letting any talent or people um, fall to the wayside. It's like because you've been through so much, you 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 seen that energy, and you can bring your personal life experiences to these people and help them, and say, you know what, pour yourself into your passion, pour yourself into what you want to be in the future. Don't sink into that. Don't focus on your family. Don't focus on these friends. Don't focus on that. Find comfort in yourself. Build yourself up. You know, and it's because you had to do it. You had to do it. You, you come from a similar background, so you can help, you know. Um, we got entrepreneur. Entrepreneur says, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. 
Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side to ensure you succeed in all ways. Go ahead and light that flame. I feel like you've been doing something for a long time and it may be time for you to step out on your own. Like as a personal contractor instead of you working under somebody like, you know, like really have your own booking page, your own, so you know, like for real where schools can book you, you can do tours, um, you can do home classes, like whatever it is, you know, it's like you can um, be billable. <laughs> like, you know, I can bill you, you know what I'm saying? So focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. God put you in certain situations for a reason because he knew that eventually, you know, he was molding you to be a person of service, to be a teacher, to be a guidance counselor, to be a, a coach, you know. Whatever it is that you are, whatever it is that, that you do. He knew what he was doing. And that's why things are picking up now. Um, as you are starting to make way, heal, um, mature. Be more elegant and graceful with yourself and how you deal with things. How you deal with people. Um... God is giving you no choice but to advance yourself because um, I feel like your numbers are increasing. Your numbers are increasing and it may be time for you to um, teach people to study under you so that you can be their employer and you focus more on the business aspect and not the actual art aspect. You know, confirmation. It's like you travel, you study, you do all of that stuff so you can come and you can pour that into your teachers. Okay, that's enough shuffle. Okay. Sagittarius, innermost guidance. What is the inner guidance that Sagittarius needs to hear right now? Okay, uh, you got the lovers in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse. I feel like at a certain time, like you might have felt out of love with your passion and your gift. And I don't know, like maybe just having a block of creativity. It's just like maybe you felt like you didn't want to do it no more. It kind of felt more of a job than a hobby. Or something that you inspired to do. I feel like if you go on your own. It won't feel like that. Because it is indeed your baby. It is indeed your creation. It will give you a whole new lease on life. A whole new lease on what you were trying to build. You know. Because it's like you're not doing it for others. You're not doing it for nobody but yourself. You putting your own stamp. You putting your own trademark. You're making your own brand. And I really feel like especially the way she's just like leaping. I feel like you just need to just jump into it and do it. And you never know. Like I swear like it's going to take off. Like don't worry about whatever happened in the past. You know what I'm saying? It's just like releasing the past and like putting yourself back out there so that you can receive again. It's something about you receiving that recognition. You receiving the accolades. You receiving those claps. You receiving them thumbs up. You receiving those subscribers. You receiving those subscriptions. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Like it's time for that. It's time for you to get back out there and start serving and putting your light back out there. It's time for you to shine. 
So I know like it's probably been a few things that's happened that kind of made you fell off and not feel as connected to this journey. But it's time for you to fall back in love with yourself again. Maybe you need to go back and look at some of your old videos, some of your old um, create uh, 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 art, you know, your old creations, your, you know, your old recipes, whatever it is. And revamp it and because you've come so far now and if you was to do what you did back then now it would probably look different taste different smell different move different you know and it's like recreating history so get back out there like really get back out there and show your talent and show your worth you know like you got it i really believe in you and i really hope that you believe in yourself sagittarius like this is a very powerful reading and um a lot of people didn't have like this much strength and like talent <laughs> and ability on the table. And it's like, you got it. Don't waste it. Get out there and kick ass. All right. So uh, Sagittarius, this has been y'all's reading. I'm about to get into y'all's love portion. I'll see y'all when I get over there. Y'all hit that like button. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if this is your reading, if you claim this, y'all put our claim this down in the chat. And the best way to show love is to hit that like button. Alright, I love y'all. Peace.